This presentation will discuss the core elements of a personal statement and a statement of intent for graduate and professional school applications. To determine your potential as a graduate student, an admissions committee will assess your academic accomplishments and professional credentials presented in your personal statement or statement of intent. This also helps them to craft a class or cohort for the program. Graduate school cohorts are groups of people who will typically work together throughout the duration of the program. These groups include individuals who are dynamic, collaborative, and who have diverse experiences to help create a supportive learning environment to carry students through the program. This is why it's important that you write about your most unique qualities and discuss the contribution that you will make to the program. There are distinct differences between a personal statement and a statement of intent. A personal statement allows you to share your story and tell your reader who you are. It includes personal aspects and unique experiences that set you apart from other applicants. In your statement, reflect on your accomplishments to tell your reader who you want to be. Discuss your career and professional goals and how the program will help you reach those goals. Your reader will also want to know how you plan to contribute to their program. You could talk about your unique research experience, academic background, or even your personality that sets you apart from others. Reveal your strongest assets and demonstrate how you would be a valuable addition to their community. The statement of intent, also referred to as a statement of purpose, should have a sharper focus on the reasons you are choosing to apply to that program and school. You should talk about how fully committed you are in pursuing that particular field. To emphasize your deep interest and commitment, discuss the focus of your studies. These details will indicate to your reader that you have a clear plan in mind. To reflect your interest in the school, write about the campus resources, alumni connections, internship opportunities, or even the geographic location that influenced your decision. Last, include what you intend to do after completing the program. Discuss your immediate and long-term goals to show that you have a definite sense of what you would like to do. To help you determine what information you would like to share in your statement, complete a self-inventory. Here's a few example questions. When did you first become interested in this field and what attracted you to it? Who or what has influenced your goals? What are your strongest skills? What makes you different from all other applicants? And finally, what about you is the most important thing that the admissions committee should know? When answering these questions, use positive emphasis and detail. Most importantly, be honest. Here are some tips to help you get started on your statement. First, organize the information that you gathered about the school and program from your research. This information will help you talk about faculty you may want to work with, details about the curriculum, or program resources. If there's a prompt for your statement, analyze and write two to three sentences in response to each question. If there's not a prompt, use your responses from the self-inventory. Next, create an outline to organize your thoughts so you're not writing spontaneously with disconnected information. You are now ready to start writing and create the first draft of your statement. To ensure that you are on the right track, consult a career advisor, faculty member in your department, or a writing consultant to get immediate feedback. Continue to revise your statement to improve the content, form, and grammar. Also have someone else review your statement who has never seen it before to check your language and catch mistakes that you or others may have missed in your statement. Finally, before you submit an official copy of your statement, be sure to proofread more than a few times. It may take up to six drafts to complete a final version of your statement, so start this process early. Here's some additional tips to keep in mind as you're writing. Use an active voice. Instead of writing, I was given the opportunity to work in, write, I worked in. This emphasizes the action of your statement and engages your reader. Next, be sure to focus on yourself. If you start to describe your work on a team project, talk about your individual contribution and role. Avoid discussing other members involved and their work. Avoid using I statements too frequently. Circle all the times you use the word I, and if there are too many, rewrite some of those sentences. Also, be personal when you write, as though you were talking with someone in person, but remember, keep your language formal. Be descriptive and avoid vague comments such as, I gained valuable experience. Specific details about your experiences will help set you apart and allow your reader to connect to your story. Keep in mind, your readers are also evaluating your writing ability, so be thorough and concise. 
Always be honest about your accomplishments and activities. Never fabricate any part of your experiences or make reference to inaccurate claims. Reflect on things that have actually had a real impact on you. When telling your story, avoid placing blame on others. For instance, if you are describing a time you worked with a peer who made a mistake on a project, never address that person's mistake. Simply discuss how you were able to resolve the issue and complete the project. You should also avoid including high school information in your statement and focus on more recent experiences that informed your decision to pursue that field. For example, don't begin your statement by talking about how you wanted to be a doctor since you were four years old. Start with a compelling and recent story. Finally, be mindful that your reader may have a different opinion than you, so approach controversial and unconventional issues with caution. With some applications, you may be asked to submit your personal statement as a primary essay and a statement of purpose as a secondary essay or vice versa. Diversity statements are also common in an application. In this statement, you should reflect on aspects of your race, culture, religion, academic or employment history that will allow you to enhance the diversity of that community. Your application may also include shorter essays that are optional. In this case, write about information that's not included in your other statement. An optional essay may provide space for you to explain bad grades, legal issues, or other things that may negatively impact your application. Only use this when you have something to explain. Other materials may include a writing sample or a portfolio. To ensure these materials are ready to go, have them reviewed by someone else before submitting it in your application. Many schools will include a general writing prompt for your application. Additional questions may be included based on that specific program that you are applying to. Here's an example of the instructions given from the graduate school application at John Carroll University. All applicants are asked to submit a statement of purpose. The statement of purpose should indicate your interest, goals, and expectations from the program you are applying to. Specific programs may submit additional questions. Be sure to respond to each question of the prompt. For medical school applications, many schools follow the Association of American Medical Colleges prompt, which simply says, use the space provided to explain why you want to go to medical school. Schools such as the Cleveland Clinic Lerner College of Medicine of Case Western Reserve University and Stritch School of Medicine at Loyola University, Chicago, will direct you to AAMC's website to complete your application through the American Medical College Application Service. For law school, most schools will require you to submit your application through the Law School Admissions Council. They may include specific questions or a more general writing prompt for your personal statement. Here's an example from the University of Pennsylvania Law School. You may wish to describe aspects of your background and interest, intellectual, personal, and or professional, and how you will uniquely contribute to the Penn Law community and or the legal profession. Remember, when writing your statement, you want to speak beyond your qualifications based on your GPA and test scores. Speak concretely about your personal experiences that set you apart from others. For final tips and reminders, remember to answer all of the questions. As you reread your statement or have others review your statement, be sure to have the writing prompts next to you to ensure that you have responded to each question. Be mindful of any length requirements or how many characters are allowed in your statement. Typically, your statement should be no more than two pages long unless indicated otherwise. Again, it may take up to six drafts to produce a final version of your statement, so give yourself ample time and don't forget to proofread. Utilize your resources on campus and consult a faculty member in your department, career advisor, or writing consultant. It's also a good idea to ask someone who knows you well to review the final draft of your statement to ensure that your authentic voice is coming through. When you think you've produced a final draft, have someone new review your statement to give you a fresh perspective on your writing and catch any grammar mistakes that others, including yourself, may have missed. Here's a list of recommended book resources that are available to you through the Career Center. These include effective sample statements for business, law, medical school, and more. Visit the Career Center to utilize these resources. For additional help, set up an appointment today through Handshake or reach us by phone or email. Remember, we are here to help you make career-related decisions, develop your skills to achieve your goals, and connect you to opportunities. Please come visit us in our new location in the Master Tony Student Success Commons located in the Griselli Library.